Hi guys, welcome back to Running Shoes Guru. My name's Brandon, and today I have another super shoe review for you, the ASICS Metaspeed Sky. The Metaspeed Sky is ASICS's most advanced, most expensive, and most hyped up shoe they've ever launched. It's one of three new carbon plated shoes, and the Metaspeed Sky is the stride shoe, designed for runners who increase their stride more in relation to their cadence when picking up the pace. It costs $250, has a 5mm drop, and weighs just 7.3 ounces for a men's US 9. The Metaspeed Sky is ASICS's first shoe to feature a thick stack midsole with a full length carbon plate. So with the Metaspeed Sky, has ASICS managed to catch up to the competition or is it too little, too late? Right now, the Metaspeed Sky is an extremely rare shoe. There were only 56 pairs made available to the public in the entire country and I managed to get a pair by being one of the first in the store on launch day. When I picked the shoe up for the first time, I couldn't believe how feather light it felt. For such a large amount of midsole foam, its weight is very impressive and it can only be bested by the Vaporfly Next Percent. My first run was a 10 km tempo run. Transitions felt really smooth and it was easy to get used to the shoe. I found it really easy to pick up the pace because the carbon plate inside the midsole was so prominent and it had a springboard type of forward propulsion. I also noticed that the shoe sounded really loud when striking the ground, almost as loud as the Nike Tempo Next Percent. That first 10K was one of my fastest ever and I couldn't wait to do longer distances in the Metaspeed Sky. Unlike the Meta Racer, the Metaspeed Sky feels like a super shoe because of its midsole foam and the shape of its carbon fiber plate. It's the first time that ASICS is using Flight Foam Blast Turbo, which is their new nylon based midsole foam that feels very similar to Nike's Zoom X. It feels cushioned, light and bouncy all at the same time and it definitely has enough cushioning for the full marathon. The carbon plate inside the Metaspeed Sky is very rigid and doesn't flex at all. It has an upward curve at the front of it and I can feel the curve underneath my toes. Now the plate works very similar to the Vaporfly in that when you strike the ground the front of the plate is anchored so when you load the heel, the shoe shoots you forward like how a springboard would. It also has a high toe spring rocker design which helps to roll you forward. Now this combination of the plate and the rocker makes the Metaspeed Sky one of the fastest feeling super shoes I've ever tested. The Metaspeed Sky is built to go fast and I found it to be the most fun at high speeds below 4 minutes 30 per kilometer. However, I also really enjoyed it at slower paces because of how soft and stable the heel feels. This is one very versatile shoe. The rubber that ASICS uses on the outsole of the Metaspeed Sky is ASICS Grip and it's a really soft, flexible type of rubber. I found traction to be fantastic even after it had just rained and the ground was still wet. I never ever felt like I was going to slip. The entire forefoot is covered with rubber and portions of the rear foot. But this rubber piece doesn't extend far back enough. The exposed foam is really soft and brittle. It gets chewed up by the ground and then the protective skin layer starts to peel away. Durability is a big concern. I've only done 80 kilometers in my pair and this patch on the outer heel has worn down very quickly. So this is a shoe that you'll want to save for races only. 
The upper of the Metaspeed Sky is one of the most roomy and accommodating of all the super shoes. And there's so much space in the forefoot and the midfoot that I'd suggest going down a half size if you prefer a snug racing fit. The mesh is rough to the touch and it's really porous so it's effective in letting the air in to cool down your feet. The tongue is flat and not gusseted and I found it to be too short because during runs it slides downwards and then the first couple of rows of laces rest against my feet. The heel tab and collar are lightly padded and foot lockdown is very secure. Now another thing I didn't like about the upper were the laces. The laces are very soft and they start to fray after just a couple runs. They definitely don't feel like they should be on a $250 shoe. The Metaspeed Sky is a very impressive super shoe and it can hold its own against some of the best racing shoes on the market. Once it becomes more widely available, I can see a lot of runners opting for the Metaspeed Sky over the default Vaporfly Next Percent because of its more stable, wider base and its more accommodating upper. My only criticisms are that the laces feel cheap and that the five millimeter drop leaves my calves feeling tighter than carbon fiber shoes with an eight to 10 millimeter drop. There's also a lot of exposed soft foam on the heel area, so I don't expect your ability to be great. At a whopping $250, the Metaspeed Sky is one of the most expensive racing shoes, but you get your money's worth. With the Metaspeed Sky, ASICS finally has a lethal weapon in the carbon fiber super shoe war. Thanks for watching the review. Let us know down in the comments if you plan on buying the Metaspeed Sky once it becomes more widely available. And please remember to like the video and subscribe to Running Shoes Guru.